I'm gonna go over some of the features and programming of the ESP TM2 Rainbird controller here for you. So first two features you're gonna see off and auto run. When it's off, it's gonna give you this display and it's not gonna run. When it's on auto run, it will run any of the programs you have set. Uh, date and time is relatively simple. You know, your plus minus keys are going to change the date and the arrow is gonna change you know, from month to year, time, AM, uh, and I believe if you just roll over, it will just go through. So we're at 11, 11, make a wish. Uh, start times, so this is where the programs, you're gonna see program A, if I hit this program button, it will also go B and C, and it'll allow you to have multiple start times so these forward arrows will just adjust the start times and a lot of people will ask how do I take off start times on controller so I'll show you that so once this is off it's gonna go to midnight and then once you go one past midnight it's gonna turn it back off so this only has one start time it doesn't have any start times on any of the programs uh, you can do that in set zones with run times. so if I only wanted my first six zones to run one day of the week and then the next six to run another day of the week, I could, you know, program the first six on program A. Same thing, hit the program B button and program times on program B. This is just set up on program A, very simple. Same thing, the arrows are going to select the stations. And then the plus and minus are going to change the amount of minutes in that that station is running. Now, run days is a little tricky. This one is on odd. Um, it doesn't start on odd, like on program, it will start and you, you can turn certain days of the week, Monday, Tuesday on, Wednesday off, uh, but if you go through and hit the arrows, it will let you adjust how many day cycle you want, so I want it to run every three days, and zero days remaining, you can say one day remaining, that means it will run tomorrow and not today, um, it, with zero days remaining it will run today. Um, there is no start times on this controller, so uh, the other thing is to change from even odd days, you got to push both the arrow keys in, and it will be odd, and then if I press them, press them both in again, it will change to even for all zones. So there's no start times in that, so I'm not really concerned. I just got A running on odd days. The other thing is sensor is active. Um, I believe if I hit both these arrows it will let me allow me to disable the sensor for specific zones. Say if you have a garden you want to run even though it rains or drip under eaves or something you could disable the sensor for that by hitting both arrows. So otherwise I'll just go back to that. If it's on active if I hit the minus it will just say sensor now disabled. The seasonal adjust is a handy one to use through the year when you're uh, coming into fall like right now you can run uh, less springtime you can run less of percentage you can come down same thing when it gets really hot you can go up in percentage uh, with the plus minus keys. And then the manual operate station is going to say I want to run all stations two or three minutes and it'll just run through it. Um, I'm going to turn this controller on off but I'd go back to auto run after it's already programmed and it'll run its next program day. Alright thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and share the video if it was helpful. If you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them. Just leave me a comment and I usually get back to them as soon as I can. Bye.